Hugo Spurl was a distinguished German Luftwaffe general who played a significant role in the military campaigns of World War II. With a career spanning several decades, Spurl emerged as one of the most influential figures in the German Air Force, demonstrating tactical brilliance and a deep understanding of aerial warfare. This video aims to shed light on the life and accomplishments of Hugo Spurl, highlighting his contributions, strategies, and impact on the course of the war. Born on February 7, 1885, in Ludwigsburg, Germany, Hugo Spurl developed an early interest in aviation, joining the military in 1903. After serving in various artillery units during World War I, he transitioned to the emerging field of aviation, demonstrating his aptitude for aerial combat. With his skills and determination, Spurl quickly rose through the ranks, assuming command positions within the German Air Force. Spurl's true prominence emerged during the early stages of World War II when he commanded Luftflotte III, Air Fleet III, during the invasion of France in 1940. It was under his leadership that the German Luftwaffe executed the devastating aerial assault on France, known as the Battle of France. Spurl's strategic maneuvers and effective coordination with ground forces played a crucial role in the swift defeat of French defences. One of Spurl's notable achievements during the Battle of France was his implementation of the ROT system. This innovative tactic involved grouping fighter planes into pairs, which significantly improved their effectiveness in engaging enemy aircraft. The ROT system proved instrumental in achieving air superiority, allowing the Luftwaffe to dominate the skies over France. After the success in France, Spurl was assigned to command Luftflotte II during the Battle of Britain in 1940. The Battle of Britain marked a critical turning point in the war, as Germany sought to gain air superiority over the United Kingdom. Spurl's relentless bombing campaigns targeted British airfields, infrastructure, and cities, aiming to cripple British defences and demoralise the population. While the Luftwaffe achieved some initial successes, they ultimately failed to break the Royal Air Force, and the battle ended in a strategic victory for the British. Despite setbacks in the Battle of Britain, Spurl remained a prominent figure within the Luftwaffe. He continued to serve in various high-ranking positions throughout the war, including commanding air fleets on the Eastern Front. However, as the tide of the war turned against Germany, Spurl's influence gradually waned. As World War II came to a close, Spurl faced the harsh realities of defeat. In 1945, he was captured by Allied forces and subsequently stood trial for war crimes committed during the conflict. Found guilty, Spurl served a prison sentence before being released in 1953. He retired from public life and passed away on April 2, 1953. Hugo Spurl's legacy is a complex one. While he is remembered as a skilled tactician and a key figure in the early successes of the Luftwaffe, his involvement in the war crimes committed by the Nazi regime cannot be overlooked. Nevertheless, his contributions to the development of aerial combat tactics and his impact on the course of World War II make him a noteworthy figure in military history. In conclusion, Hugo Spurl was a prominent Luftwaffe general whose strategic brilliance and leadership skills left an indelible mark on the German Air Force and World War II. While his accomplishments are overshadowed by his association with the Nazi regime, it is essential to recognize his contributions in the context of military strategy and the evolution of aerial warfare. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to our channel. By subscribing, you'll be notified when we upload new videos. Thank you again for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in our next video.